Hey there, I'm Dagny Zenovia. Welcome back. How are you? No, but like seriously, like really, really, like for real, for real. How are you? We are living in such an interesting time right now. Now that I feel like I've gotten on the other end of feeling like, yo, what the, what the? I now feel like sharing again. What we're going to discuss in this video is how to go with the flow or maintain your peaceful flow while trying to and successfully avoiding feeling overwhelmed with panic, whether that's from within you, the people around you, or just the world at large. Start, we gotta talk about your mind and how you're using it. There, your mind is, as I'm sure you've heard, our minds are so powerful and kind of dictate every, a lot of what we feel and a lot of how we maneuver our lives. I want us to do a breathing exercise. Will you do it with me? Yeah, okay, okay, okay. So, first, you need to be still. If you can close your eyes, that's awesome. If you are driving or like catching something as you're watching this, please keep your eyes open. But the biggest thing is you really just need to be still within yourself and focus on your breathing. Now, what we're going to do is that you're going to breathe in deeply for four counts, hold it for four counts, breathe out for four counts, hold it for four counts, and repeat. I'm going to guide you through it, okay? You ready? Okay, first, breathe in, hold, breathe out, hold, breathe in, hold. Breathe out, hold. Now, when you are breathing in deeply, were you filling your air in your chest, your shoulders, or your stomach? Yes. You need to primarily actually fill up your stomach or your diaphragm with air. So your chest shouldn't be going up and your shoulders shouldn't be going up. It's primarily your di diaphragm area okay let's try it again breathe in deeply hold breathe out hold breathe in hold breathe out hold continue breathing and only focus on your breathing now here's the key to this, which yes, we are now, y'all are soon gonna be meditation masters. Um, continue breathing. The key to this is, as you focus on your breathing, be loving towards your mind, because of, of course you have other things going on in your mind. The way I like to see meditation is that it's not about shutting your mind off. It's about expanding your mind. It's about opening it. So you're not closing your mind, you're actually opening it even wider. Too like that movie, Lucy. Did you guys see that movie? I really like that movie, actually. I think it should have had a different ending. But anyway, you know how the, the notion that your daily routine is not even utilizing the, even 50% of your brain, right? Meditation is a way for you to utilize more of it. The fact that there are other things that you legitimately feel you need to be thinking about right now. When you are trying to meditate, you should not be thinking, oh my gosh, well, you know, I can't, I can't even focus on my breathing because I have all these things to think of. Or, oh my goodness, I can't shut off my brain because it's always on. Like that's, if you start out with that attitude, you're, you, you can't, you won't get much out of the exercise. Instead, just take a moment to focus on your breathing. It doesn't mean you need to erase everything out in your mind. There's more than enough space for you to keep that in your mind as well as focus on your breathing right now because all of that is gonna still be there once you finish this breathing exercise. So it doesn't take anything away from you to direct your focus to something else, just for the moment. That is what you can start with. <sighs> Thanks to that breathing exercise and us clearing our mind, creating this safe space that we are grounded and fully aligned in, we can dive in deeper on how we can take care of ourselves 
mentally, spiritually, physically during this time of that seems quite surreal. I really believe that what you focus on or what you think of or what you tell yourself will manifest, which means you really need to be quite specific and proactive in how you decide to speak to yourself and what you decide to focus on and imagine for yourself. There's a few questions that I've been reflecting on. One of them I did post on Instagram. So thank you so much to those of you who responded to my question. I loved your responses. Jen, first question is, who are you outside of being busy? When you remove the labels, the bills, the relationships, the responsibilities, the status quo, the material pleasures, who are you? What do you stand for? What do you represent? How do you share your gifts with the world? How do you share your gifts with those who are right now around you? Or at least connected to you? I feel the answer to that question is part of what you will need to continue to thrive in this new world, new era, new society that we're going to have to adapt to once this virus aspect has run its course. After you dive into that, my next question for you is how do you define productivity and success? for you. The constant back and forth I'm seeing on social media where there's one team that says, hey, during this time, you can be putting up that business plan. And then you have another team saying, this has shown us that if you need to nap, then you take that nap. I feel there really is a balance between those two um, extremes, to be honest. I feel like, yes, if you're at home, please incorporate a nap in your day. Like, I feel we've always been saying that, that we don't understand why nap time stopped in kindergarten, okay? So that, I don't think the virus taught us that. You can, we've already always been saying that's something we've wanted to do or need to do. For me, for the days I've been here, some days productivity looks like, you know what? I wanna stretch this morning. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna get up and stretch because I just feel like I need to move my body. So let me put some music on and stretch. Another day productivity looks like, boom, I wrote this story. Boom, I wrote this article. Boom, I emailed this person. Bada bing, bada boom. I edited this. Bada bing, bada boom. Sent that out. Bada bing, bada boom. Yeah. Another day productivity looks like, let me just sit back and listen to this person's story. Another day, let's, you know, let, let, let's talk about Madam C.J. Walker. The common thread through all of those days is that I feel good. Now, on a interaction and personal level, we all understand that everyone's going through something right now. All right. Before this, the notion always was you have no idea what people are going through. Now, you really have no idea what people are going through because everyone really, all of us internalize change differently. Now the way you can still be a source of peace for yourself and others is to be patient in a loving way with others. So I wanted to say to you, if, well regardless, but in particularly if no one has reached out to you to check on you during this time, I want to ask you, how are you? Are you feeling okay? Do you have enough soap? Do you have enough toilet paper? Are you cooking for yourself now? Do you have enough hand sanitizer? Are you drinking enough water? I want you to understand that some people out here are not actually ignoring you. And you are cared for and you are loved much more than you realize. So do remember that, and please keep yourself safe.
I hope these uh, mindset reflections and exercises are helpful to you from the breathing exercise, which I do highly recommend that you continue practicing. And if you are interested in um, learning more about meditation or even going through a, a bit more different visualizations, let me know because uh, I'd, I'd love to share that as well. I possibly will still share that regardless, but it'll be nice to know like in what respects would you be interested in those sorts of things. And then those questions I asked, take the time to write them down and actually answer them for yourself. Okay, because that also helps you focus on, yo, what's my next move? All of the ideas and plans and projects and people and travel and everything else and work and whatever else that you had planned for March, you know, you had planned for April or for the next few months. And obviously they're all going to change, be postponed, be canceled, or just evolve and transform in a different way. If you truly can believe that up to this point, you have truly been showing up for yourself. You've been doing what you need to do. You have been listening to whatever guidance you listen to, then you need to trust and believe also that coming up next is actually better than what you could have ever imagined. When plans change, when things get postponed or canceled, that doesn't mean that it leaves you lacking, right? It actually leaves room for you to be even more abundant because it's possible that like for me personally, I've had this feeling from the beginning of this year. Okay, so like for a few months, the feeling of, yo, like massive change is about to occur. And like this cycle that you're in now is about to be completed. You've completed it and the new one is about to start. That's exciting. You know what I'm saying? That means like you did it, like you passed, like you got this, right? But for me, this is where the surreal balance comes in of like, I'm, I am quite grateful and excited to see what is next, right? At the same time, that doesn't mean I'm not concerned, you know? And the concern is not, oh my goodness, when are the UFOs gonna land? I don't mean that. Concern for my family, because I do have healthcare professionals in my family who don't have the privilege to work from home. And as much as we're taking all the precautions that we can, never really knowing if it's enough or not. So those concerns are valid, but they still come from a space of peace. They still come from a space of positivity, but I'm still gonna do my part. Yeah? <laughs> if you are, if you're open to it, I'd love to hear from you. Uh, one, what are you doing now to maintain your peace? And uh, if you're open to it, what is your response to that question? Who are you outside of being busy? Let me know either in the comments or reach out to me on Instagram or Twitter at Dagny Zenobia. Thank you so much for watching. Please be safe and I'll see you next time.